And turning to domestic vaccines, enrollment is still ongoing for several treatment groups in Phase 2 trials. Medigen is still seeking subjects aged 65 and older. United Biomedical, which was slower to start recruitment, is looking for many more older adults, as well as several more subjects aged 18 to 64. Sleeve rolled up. Former lawmaker Lai Quenchen closes his eyes as he gets a shot of a Taiwan-developed COVID vaccine candidate that's currently in phase two trials. While I was getting it, I was a bit nervous, but since then I haven't felt anything. I am thrilled to have had this chance to take part in the human trials for a Taiwan-developed vaccine. There are currently two firms with candidates in phase two trials. Medigen began recruiting in early February and has already completed enrollment for the 18 to 64 age group. Recruitment for subjects 65 and older is 60 percent complete. United Biomedical is more than 90 percent done with enrolling subjects 18 to 64. Progress has been slower for the older adults demographic, which is just 20 percent complete. For the 65 and older group, we're moving toward full enrollment. The thing with this age group is that there's a slightly higher rate of getting screened out, so you have to recruit more people. That's the situation with Medigen. As for United Biomedical, enlistment for subjects aged under 65 should be complete within the next one or two days. After that, it will need to still find people for the batch assessment test and the test on older adults. Those are the two that need more work. But with new COVID strains emerging around the world, concerns are rising over whether Taiwan's vaccines will be effective once they reach the market. United Biomedical says its vaccine is as protective against the UK strain as it is against the original virus, but it says the vaccine is only 60 percent protective against South African and Brazilian variants. The United Biomedical vaccine offers complete protection against the UK variant. It also offers basic protection against the Brazil and South Africa strain. Taiwanese pharma companies are pushing forward with trials. United Biomedical says it will continue adjusting its vaccine to increase stability and offer higher levels of protection.